I've got these solar panels. I started off and I had this thing, which is a, a 3 volt, I think it is. Um, and I just tried it. I left it in the window, put a voltage monitor on it, and that's all it did. And that was there for probably about 18 months, I think. Still works. And then I got this one, which is a 12 volt. Uh, these are actually resin coated which makes it makes it a lot better and a lot easier to actually mount them. This is a 12 volt and I can't remember what wattage it is. But literally all it is is just a voltage meter on it just to see what voltage I get out of it and I can't get anything off these. Oh, I can't. Anyway, so that's that. And now I've got these. These are 10 watt 12 volt panels, uh, half amp, I think it's half an amp. These, I've got a couple of these, they're just the cheapest Chinese uh, controllers that you can get. I think they're only about 10 quid I paid for them. Um, I bought one when I was drunk and then I got up in the morning and bought another one. Dunno. <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, so these panels, what I'm going to do is they come with these leads for trickle charging your car battery or whatever. I'm going to wire these in series so I'm going to get 24 volts out and I've got basically it's like a car battery but it isn't. It comes out of a UPS. So I'm going to wire it in 24 volts to charge the 12 volt battery. Now I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, I don't know how much charge I'm going to be able to put into the battery because they've got to be mounted in the window and it's not very efficient putting them in the window. These are, uh, these are resin coated as well. I don't like the ones that you have to build yourself because I've tried it before and I crack the bloody things all the time. So these cost a bit more but they're worth it. So I've got those. Literally all you do is you connect your battery, connect your battery positive negative to there, and then the LCD will come on, and then you connect your, your solar cell positive negative there, and then it charges. When the light's there, unfortunately they don't work at night time. I don't know why, I think I need to invent a solar charge moon thing. Yeah, that'll be good. Many years ago, I um, bought a solar panel, only a little one, put it in my window to charge a battery. And then I bought another one and put it in the window to charge a battery. Because I've got a west facing window, I get the sun at its most powerful in the evenings, the afternoon, evening. It wasn't anything, it was just a bit of fun. And thanks to Andy Kirby, link in the description to his channel, he's made me <clears throat> do it a bit more in depth, I suppose. Yeah, it progressed and, and, and I basically got a couple of 10 watt panels and then I got a 20 watt, another 20 watt panel and blah blah blah, but anyway all it was doing was charging the battery and it wasn't actually, well, I wasn't using it for anything, it was just for an emergency 12 volt battery sort of backup in case anything happened, you know, power cuts nuclear air strikes <laughs> I've got these solar panels, now these are sun, sun power these are the high efficiency ones there's something like about 20, 22% uh, efficient, I think, something like that. I've had these a while now, and I just couldn't be bothered. But now I'm going to make my own panel. So I'm going to have 25 of those in series to give me around about 17 and a half, 18 volts. And I think I should be able to get about 6 amps out of it. Obviously, because it's in a window, I ain't gonna get I'm not gonna benefit much from them, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I've got them and I want to. So there. The first thing I'm gonna do 
is on here. I don't know if you can see it, but there, there's a little plus sign, so this is the positive side, that's the negative side. So I'm going to lay these out, and I've calculated I can get four in a row. Or is that a column? Four in a row, and then that goes up the window. So I can actually get the 25. It's going to be in a row of four, so I'm going to have one odd. But I can add more as and when I need to. Now I've already cut a piece of acrylic for them to actually lay on, so what I'm going to do is solder them all up on here, then transfer them onto the acrylic by just sliding them off and on. You know what I mean? Um, the reason being is I don't want to solder on when they're on the acrylic because it may go through the acrylic because of the heat and everything else and it may damage it. So, I'm going to solder them up. I can't put these in the middle of the screen because they're actually attached and they're lined up and everything else. So what I've done is I've put a positive and a negative on there. And then all you do is grab the middle one and turn it over. I've checked on there and I'm getting 2.5 volts or 2.6 volts which is... I think these are uh, 0.6 volts, 60, yeah, these are 0.6 volts cells, so I'm getting 2.5 volts near enough, plus or minus. So I've done that one, and then I've got to find out <laughs> how to move it, <laughs> and then I've got to do obviously the rest of them, I'm going to do them in a stack of four, but I don't know where to move it and where to put it. This would be interesting. If you buy any of these, make sure you keep them at his side up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, these are some power. So I've got all these, are the rest of the cells that I've got here. Um, you've got to be careful not to actually touch. Um, the blue side, the active side. These are actually different. These are ones I had to buy some extras because I didn't quite have enough and they are actually different to these. Although they were apparently listed as the same, you can see that these are... I don't know if you can see. No you can't. You can see a difference on them. I just hope they're as efficient, otherwise this is going to be a bloody waste of time.